Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and this is my video analyzing the new updated Artifact Strongbox for version 3.0, and my recommendations on which one to pick. If you are a newer player, or perhaps not familiar with every artifact set in the game yet, I'll link a video in the card above for an artifact tier list where I explain all the artifact sets in the game for a newer player to understand really quickly. We don't waste time on this channel, so let's jump right in with the content. Now, efficiency is the name of the game, and you generally want to pick artifact sets which are super inefficient to farm with resin in the domain. There are four domains that fit this category, the Viridescent Domain, the Crimson Witch of Flames Domain, the Thundering Fury Domain, and to some extent, the Noblesse Oblige Domain as well. My top recommendation for most players will be the Viridescent Domain, since the efficiency of farming VV in the domain is very low because of the Maiden's Beloved set that not many people actually use. Of course, if you already have great VV gear, you can really skip this step, but for relatively fresher players, and in fact myself, I will plan to do it as well, you want to get a very good set of VV ASAP because it's very usable and Animo characters are quite meta for the resistance shredding that they offer with the set, and this new strongbox makes this process far more efficient. My second recommendation is of course the Crimson Witch of Pain. Many have tried to farm this set for months and couldn't even get a single crit hat for a Crimson Witch set. The strong boss allows you to skip farming for Lava Walkers and increases your efficiency by a ton. This is definitely a good artifact set for you to throw your junk into. I don't recommend players to use the strong box for Blizzard Strayer or Heart of Depth set unless you are specifically looking for something. Since the Dragon Spine domain is actually very high in efficiency since both sets are very very good. Your Heart of Depth do and your Heart of Depth and also your Blizzard Strayer. So your efficiency here is not really improved if you use the strong box, but of course you double down and you speed up the process of getting a good Blizzard Strayer or Heart of Depth. Now for end game players on the other hand, I will recommend you look for Arcade Petra or Thundering Fury, which most of you might not have farmed in the past. With Electro getting a buff in Sumeru, the cooldown reduction that Thundering Fury 4-piece offers does have a good place for future experimentation, and the Archaic Petra 4-piece effect is really underrated on characters like Yunjin, which can then act as like a pseudo-elemental buffer. Of course, these two are a little more niche sets that are better suited for later game players. With the new Sumeru domain having a super efficient drop, where one set is Dendro Bonus and the other pair is like somewhat of an upgraded Wanderers for Elemental Mastery builds, most players should rotate between the new domain as well as the Emblem of Severed Fate domains for farming efficiently. Of course, if you really like a certain character and just want to min-max them, feel free to go ahead. But these are my thoughts, and really do check out this solid and in-depth artifact tier list video right here for more information about all the artifacts in-game. See you in the next video.